Hi, I'm Dr. T, and I'm a pediatrician. On Ask Dr. T, I answer health questions from teens. Questions ranging from safe sex, to self-love, to questions about body parts. Let's get this episode started. On this episode, I'm going to be talking about just some basics of foreskin care. So, foreskin is the skin that covers the penis of nearly every individual born with male anatomy. So, there are a few specific conditions or circumstances where an individual is born without foreskin, but that is very rare. And most individuals who have male anatomy are born with a piece of skin that covers their penis. Generally speaking, we call this uncircumcised. Um, there are a variety of other ways that people describe this, but um, we typically, um, in the medical world, call it uncircumcised penis. And then there is a procedure that removes the foreskin uh, in individuals with male anatomy, and that's called circumcision. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. What I'm going to talk about is the uncircumcised penis and foreskin care. So when someone is born with a penis, you really don't have to do a whole lot for it. Obviously, there's some basic cleaning, and when the baby is wearing diapers, uh, you clean around the penis, and you clean in the crevices, and keep things as tidy and clean as possible. But you really don't need to do anything to a baby's uncircumcised penis. It just hangs out and sits there, and nothing major to be done. In fact, if you are too forceful on retracting an uncircumcised penis in a baby, you can actually cause scarring, which can lead to problems down the road, something called phimosis. And that's when there is scarring that has made the hole that the foreskin retracts over, makes that hole too tight so that you can't pull back the foreskin. So just leave it. Uncircumcised penises pee just the same as circumcised penises. So you don't need to worry about that urine will get stuck or that you have to clean around the urine. There's a hole in the tip of the foreskin that pee comes out of. Totally normal. Nothing to be done about it. Then during puberty, penises start to grow and stretch and that foreskin also starts to grow and stretch and it will start to break some of the what we call adhesions. So there will be some pieces of skin that are connected between the foreskin and the penis and as the penis grows and as an individual starts to get more erections, those skin bridges and adhesions will start to break. It's a natural process that happens during puberty. And again, there's really not anything that you have to do for it. It's good for the individual to start to learn how to pull back the foreskin. Again, don't be aggressive or firm with it, okay? Just gentle retraction or pulling down the foreskin. Um, gentle stretching will help that foreskin ultimately be able to retract on its own. But there's no need to be forceful with it. Um, again, if you're too forceful with it, you can cause scarring and make that foreskin hole opening way too tight. So just some gentle retraction on the part of the individual um, with the penis. And that's basically it. When you pee, so when you pee in the toilet, nothing needs to be done. You do the regular shake or blot. I like blotting. It's a little bit cleaner for the rest of the people who use the bathroom, but um, generally speaking, uncircumcised or circumcised, you pee just the same. You don't have to pull back the foreskin or anything. There's a hole in it uh, in the foreskin. Pee comes out just the same. So that that's the effect of puberty on the natural adhesions um, of the foreskin. After puberty, you should be able to fully retract the foreskin over the penis. And so what I mean is it's kind of like a, a banana in the sense that you should be able to pull back the foreskin so that the head of the penis is exposed. The reason that we talk about doing this is because you can get 
smegma or dead skin and oil buildup underneath the penis. And this can happen for circumcised individuals, uncircumcised individuals, and it happens to those with vaginas too. So it's a natural product that happens in our private areas. But it's important to clean that regularly. And the way that we do that if someone has foreskin is that you have to retract that foreskin and clean under it uh, in the shower. So if you are in the middle of puberty or after puberty, and you are unable to retract your foreskin, so you can't pull it back in the shower, the first thing we would recommend is just doing gentle stretching in the shower every day. Again, don't be forceful with it, but just gently try to stretch it over the head of the penis. Don't be forceful. Um, if you ever get the foreskin stuck on the other side of the penis, so if you get stuck behind the head and it's really tight, that's actually dangerous and that's an emergency um, and you need to go to the emergency room. So don't ever force things to an uncomfortable degree, but just some gentle stretching. If you ultimately though do need some help, talk to your doctor and we can give you a topical steroid that you can put on that foreskin to help with gentle stretching and retraction. Now, some basics of how the penis works for intimacy. So I already talked about peeing, that's all the same between circumcised, uncircumcised, no big deal. When it comes to intimacy and erections, a an uncircumcised penis should still, one, when it's erect, you should be able to pull the foreskin over the head of the penis. And for most individuals, the foreskin sort of retracts on its own with erection. This is also where phimosis can be an issue because it can be painful. If you have an erection and that foreskin can't be pulled down, it can be very tight and painful. So that would be a reason to talk to your doctor. But if an individual has an erection and is uncircumcised, generally speaking, that foreskin does pull down on its own and usually becomes flush with the rest of the penis skin or the shaft. and that's basically it. Some individuals do have some extra foreskin and it takes a little bit of uh, extra lubrication and adjustment with the condom to make sure that it is comfortably situated within the condom. Um, but for uncircumcised and circumcised penises, you put on a condom when erect and it's basically the same procedure. So sometimes the foreskin just needs a little bit of extra lube, but an uncircumcised penis, generally speaking, does its own thing and takes care of itself. The only thing that you need to do is regular cleaning with gentle soap. So an unscented soap in the shower every day and rinse it off completely with water with the foreskin retracted. And that's it. That's the foreskin. Not a big deal. Uh, we make a lot of, uh, there's a lot of uncertainty around uh, what to expect, or if your partner has a foreskin, or if you're raising a child with foreskin of the penis, it's really, it takes care of itself for the most part. And if you ever have problems with phimosis, talk to your doctor. It's not a big deal, but uh, that's the basic info about having foreskin. And remember, if you have a question for Ask Dr. T, you can either respond in this video or submit through my website, askdrt.net.